And today is our very first official day of receiving one of these. This is an iPhone 17 Pro Max and it's not turning on. What a surprise. This phone was just brought in about 20 minutes ago, give or take. I have yet to disassemble and I've yet to really take a look at it. I figured let's do this on camera and we both get to see what's wrong with this iPhone 17 Pro Max. I am guessing this is just going to be a quick repair. I've already tried the volume up, volume down and hold the power button, holding it for a few moments and nothing appears to show. And holding down the vibrator or silencer new action button is not making any signs of life. And clearly as you can tell, it's not working. So I did throw this on the charger. I do have an amp reader and on the amp reader it's currently showing that this is charging at 0.48 amps and it goes down to zero uh, these are not good signs these are likely short circuit issues and I'm very surprised it's a brand new phone it should not have this issue and I did mention to the customer the moment I open this up I do void your warranty she was fine with it and she just told me if we can do it faster than Apple by all means let's get started just like any other iPhone you'll have to remove the two bottom pentelope screws yeah that's the first screw and that's the second. Now, luckily I did do a disassembly video on this a while ago, and I am comfortable with opening it up. Even though this is a new phone and it just came out, it should be okay. If you are interested in seeing that disassembly video for the iPhone 17 Pro, link is somewhere here or down below. Don't forget to see that. Looks like we've popped open the screen without damaging it. Hopefully, the screen is pretty thick. And we've already done a disassembly on this, so we kind of have an idea what we're gonna be looking for. I don't see any signs of water damage. And this is what I was hoping not to see. So that's good. So let's put this right here. And from my recollection on this model, this uses a T5 bit. I think to remove this massive heat sink along with the battery. What I want to do here, my objective for now, is to see if I could unplug the battery and just replug it and maybe that may resolve the issue. Okay, screen has been removed and now let's see if we can remove this battery, huge battery on top. Or is that the battery connector? I could just do that technically. What am I doing? Let's unplug the battery. Okay, we've unplugged the battery. I am gonna replug the screen, plug in that battery and test what happens because this may actually just very well resolve the issue without us completely disassembling it. And if you're doing this yourself, this can probably save you some money and hard time. Okay, battery connected, screen is connected. Let's go ahead and throw this on the charger and read what the charger says. Because earlier it was showing 0.48 amp draw and then turns off. We got it. Let's go. That's all they needed was just to unplug the screen, the battery, and replug it. If you are an iPhone 17 Pro Max holder or user, or if you're a technician and you get this phone that just doesn't turn on or, or actually doesn't charge, uh, you should just probably remove the screen, unplug the battery, unplug the screen, and replug it. And that may resolve it. Or in our case, it resolved it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did. It was easy. See you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.